Good morning. Good morning. Elvina, who are you? What do you do? I'm Elvina Motar. I work for uh, MSF uh, in Brussels in the logistic department. I'm the technical team leader. Okay, and what on earth is this behind you? <laughs> well, this is one of the products from a project that we developed. We actually started from the idea that uh, in MSF, the way we design uh, hospitals is quite unique, and uh, we, we can design very large size hospitals in a very short time and also implement it on a, in a very short uh, time frame. So we came from an example that we have already done, which is the Kantai Hospital. It was a hospital that we built in response to the Ayan Typhoon as a post-emergency response. This hospital, it's a 50-bed uh, hospital with a OT, maternity, ER, OPD, uh, it's quite a large uh, facility. And it took only four months from green light to opening to 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 build uh, to prepare the okay. land to build uh, to to set up and to to start, and uh, and we wanted to see with, with this project here uh, retrospectively how could we in the future make this process even faster or even easier by actually uh, helping people uh, in the discussion to like bring them together in those in the design phase usually we have. Uh, uh, medics that are discussing with the uh, logisticians, technicians, and so and on. And changing their minds, Dr. Yes. J, you like changing your mind? <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. More change. And, uh, every day. Please change. <laughs> so and, and basically, the, the, the two products that we present here, whether it is about uh, uh, 3D printed uh, hospital or parts of hospitals or virtual reality for hospitals, it's really to see in the design process how we can interact better and how we can, uh, we can really agree on, on what we are uh, doing and uh, so the idea is that the, the, the higher the quality of the plan before you start building, yes. the quicker the execution will be, because when Dr. J changes his mind and says, oh, I want the operating theatre 10 metres to the left instead of 10 metres to the right, you don't have to take the yes. whole thing down and rebuild it, because you already knew this before. And, so, uh, and it's also visually much easier than just, uh, usually what we do now is that we have 2D drawings that are not very digest for, uh, for medics. No. <laughs> and uh, and, and with, with these kind of technologies, it's also, yes, much more uh, visual and much more uh, alive for, for people so, to discuss. So there's, discuss there's two elements. There's the 3D printing, and then there's the 3D visualize or 360 virtual reality visualization. Maddie, can you uh, uh, zoom in on what's happening there? So you can imagine that... Uh, uh, a doctor, a medic, uh, anybody who wants to visualise the hospital sitting in the driver's seat uh, with the uh, VR goggles there. I don't know whether you've, uh, you can focus in on this Oculus thing that he's wearing on his head. Uh, and he can essentially walk himself through the hospital, that's yes. correct. So it's, it's really a, a fully uh, a virtual visit that is a very immersive. Because what we see now on the screen is what he sees uh, into the, the, the virtual reality helmet, but uh, he is uh, really fully immersed into the, into the hospital. And uh, he can navigate. So the, the idea here is also to see uh, when, we, when we design a hospital, it's not about only what are the medical services that we will put there, but how the layout will uh, facilitate the, the, the good functioning of the hospital. So we're talking and about patient flows, yes, patient staff flows, flows, staff flows medical equipment flows, flows, waste flows. Exactly. Yeah. And, and with this kind of, uh, of a system, you can actually be immersed into the, the hospital, into really what it would look like, and you can uh, validate or, or see uh, uh, potential issues there. And all of this to produce a really decent plan, which you can then execute without too many yes. changes along the way. Dr. J, some thoughts? Yeah, I mean, so Elvin, you said that the hospital in the Philippines took around four months to, yes. to put up and to get open. Yes. It, using your new system that you've, you've developed <laughs> in that time. Tough question. What, what, What's the difference? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a uh, this is for me. It's one of the next phases to see actually when we do it on the, the on the real. real project, yeah. what will be the added value on it. But the thing is that we have also this was the way we sold the project, and it is it's a proof of concept. So it was also to see uh, to discuss with people and to see what people imagine uh, those technologies could be used for. And, and we have also seen now many, many different uh, use, usage from, this, uh, from these technologies. For example, even these, the 3D printed parts, we have even been using them like uh, with, uh, with the Ministry of Health to show them what a prefabricated uh, structure can be and the, the level of quality that we can reach into those uh, prefabricated structures. So to really have discussions, not only when we design, but also when we, when we really uh, plan a new project and when we discuss with actors 
uh, or we are using this now for uh, for trainings. Uh, so we so it's, it's the same. We really simulate this. We put medics and logs together, yeah. and uh, and we tell them to produce the layout of our hospital. So and we now we can do it. You brought up an interesting concept there that we collaborate in the field with lots of lots of other organisations. Um, have you tried showing other organisations your product and to see the reaction that you get from them? Well, we brought this uh, to a uh, Ministry of Health uh, in Africa, and they are <laughs> trying. Yes, and they, they tried. Uh, they, they looked at the virtual. Uh, the the virtual concept of the hospital, they look at the, at the mock-up, and uh, it's a very good way also to, to convince people, because more and more now we go for prefabricated structures because they bring, they bring a lot of advantages in terms of, uh, of the design time, of the, the, the building time, and so on, uh, but it is not always easy to, to make people understand that a prefabricated building is not uh, just a, I don't know, a container for six months, that those structures can last for 30 years. For, so it, it's also a very good tool for for, for decision making or for uh, fantastic, uh, yeah, fantastic. Okay, right. well, well done for having taken the risk uh, to invest in this and to, to do something completely out of the box and it's really learning by doing uh, and it's great to see that not only your original concept of uh, uh, your, your business case of let, let's try and do this so we can get a better plan but it's, it's leading to lots of other things as well uh, and so what's next uh, well, Where are you, are you waiting for another big bang? <laughs> no, well, no, we have many, many different ideas now. For example, for the, the virtual uh, reality, what you see here is rather uh, a, a static world. So we have, we have the buildings and, uh, and you can navigate in inside them. Uh, one of the, the, the next, next step steps. for this is, is definitely to make it more dynamic. So you can, you to will really be able to, uh, yeah. to simulate the flows. Like you would be able to simulate, okay, I'm a doctor and there is a... So we don't uh, even need uh, to go to uh, the yes. field to work for MSF <laughs> anymore. We can just uh, do it all virtually. But, or you can, you can use it for training, for briefings, yeah. or for debriefings, or for... Yeah, but for this, this is one of the aspects for the virtual reality. But then for the 3D printing, we also want to investigate other uh, 3D printing technologies. We could also imagine that at some point we have a, a full uh, 3D library that is available uh, to also for people to also benchmark and to try other to try <coughs> printing the te technologies. So we're aiming high. We're dreaming. Wow. The world is possible. We have to sing big. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Okay.